Hey, what is going on guys? This is ZK and this is like uh, kind of a little video uh, as like a guide for these Iron Man suits I guess because some people were wondering, you know, what's the difference between all the suits? What are their abilities? What's uh, everything that they can do all their functionalities as well as some um, mark 16 gameplay So I'm going to show you some all of you guys uh, all the suits I'm going to go through them and kind of show you what their uh, strengths weaknesses uh, all the differences between the suits. So first Welcome of all, we're going to add of all of our parts here, which you collect available. as you Once work you your way up the tower. Now, in case you guys are wondering, you'll notice it's round one, and I have a ton of money, and that's just because this is a special version of the map that allows for cheats. So I'm using those just to demonstrate this video. Anyway, so now that once you've added all the parts, the armors become available for purchase with the exception to the Mark V, which is coming soon. Um, I may be adding this in a later update, but we were having some issues with the Mark V suitcase view model since it's originally a Google SketchUp model, which is pretty weird to try to get that into Call of Duty. But anyway, anyway, um, yeah, so I guess I'll start with the Mark I here. So the Mark One can be purchased for five thousand. So once you buy it, the once you buy the armors, the uh, holographic image here is going to turn blue, and blue always means you can come up and put on the armor right away. If it's red, that means it's charging or it's not available for some reason. So blue means you can get it. So we'll go ahead and deploy it. And if you watch right here, you'll see the armor that you're deploying is actually going away from the Hall of Armors, which is kind of cool. It does that for all of them. All right, so here's the Mark I, upper right-hand corner. You have power levels. We are at maximum power. Now we're not. We're at 98%. <laughs> um, but yeah, the Mark I, the power uh, levels will deplete after a while. You get a flamethrower. Uh, single, we might do dual uh, flamethrowers later. And if you switch weapons, you have the Mark I wrist rocket. You have two shots with this, the most powerful wrist rocket out of all the Iron Man suits up to date. If you shoot it, you get this massive explosion. It will just absolutely annihilate any zombies in the area. So yeah, you have this full uh, flamethrower there. If I switch to third, per oops, third person, uh, you can't really see it, but you do look like the Mark One armor. I guess the stinking uh, uh, interface there is kind of messing that up. Anyway, so let's go put the Mark One back. That's about all there is. Uh, I can fly, obviously, but it, that will decrease a lot of power. You guys don't want to run out of power in this thing. <laughs> you will be in trouble. So let's go put the Mark One back on. You can put the armors back on by uh, going up to the thing that you got it from and deploying it. And then you can see right there, the model's red. That means because you can't put it on yet. And the suit will come back to the Hall of Armors. So there is that. Um, all these computer screens here, guys. Like, say, here's the Mark V. Uh, there's the Mark VI. All these computer screens give detailed accounts of all of the armors, history, weapons in flight, movement, targeting, all that kind of stuff. So you can go check those out yourself. These right here keep track of the power levels for all the suits, or for the suits listed here, as well as the War Machine suit is tracked right there. Those are live power levels keeping track of them at all times, whether you're in the suit or not. So here's the Mark III, which is 7,500. We're going to buy that and we're going to put it on. This was the first armor that I made. This was kind of the prototype one that I was working on while I was kind of figuring out how to do all this stuff. So you get kind of a nice little animation there to show the view hands and stuff. It puts on this little mask thing here. Boom, and there you go. So here we have the Iron Man uh, Mark III HUD. And I know you can't really see it on your screen, but if you look really closely, you can see a target down there um, that's moving, and that's tracking the zombies. So this armor is the first to have uh, fully functional tracking uh you can't hardly see it though so we'll have to i'll show you the tracking when zombies actually get up here but anyway for this suit you have repulsor um you can switch weapons and you get a uh, wrist rocket fully automatic you have three shots and then you reload but as you can see the power level is decreasing the rockets take quite a bit of power repulsors take one percent light takes ten percent speed is increased on this one as well as you get a 250 percent increase on health so it's about as equivalent to juggernaut so you'll have about the same amount of health here as you do with Jug. Uh, I forgot to mention that the Mark I has a 300% increase in health. So that armor is going to take, you know, 7 so hits, I think. Like 7 time. or 8 hits, something like that short. before you'll go down. The main so that's a pretty good one, um, unless you're out of power. If you're out of power, then the health changes times. and stuff. Alright, moving on to the Mark IV, which is that bad boy right there. So go ahead and put it on. You can buy this one for 10000 so as the Mark IV goes away there, same animation here for the suit up. 
And yeah, here's some detailed instructions, guys. If you're actually in the map, you can go ahead and just read those. So here's a brand new HUD. We have the same weapon systems as the Mark III. Um, the brand new HUD, uh, the, every map has a different HUD, or excuse me, every suit has a different HUD. So let me look down here. Yeah, you still can't really see the zombies. Were. I should have waited until they were actually up here. Where are they? Yeah, well. Wait till they get up here. Yeah, this armor um, can fly, obviously. Um, it takes 8% of power to fly with this armor, so you can save a little bit of power when you're flying. Um, health increase is about the same as the Mark III. And I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to wait till some zombies get up here first, and then I will show you the targeting, which is pretty cool. Alright guys, welcome back, and as you can see, we have some zombies up here, and there are targets on them, kind of like Vulturate, I guess, you know, in the sense of uh, putting the the images on the screen for you, but yeah, it tracks a total of seven zombies, I believe, on the screen, um, before it won't track them anymore, because, you know, there's only a certain amount of HUD elements you can have on the map at one time, so, you know, once you kill them, obviously, the icon goes away. But yeah, the icons, you can see them through walls, through the floor and everything, so it's pretty handy if you're, like, standing behind something. You can see exactly where they all are. Um, this HUD also tracks teammates, so if I was in a co-op match, you'd have blue icons on all of the teammates. Um, so there's that. Um, I'm going to go and put this, the Mark IV, back. Put this back. In case you guys didn't notice, you can listen while you're in Iron Man suits, and you can... Uh, um, hear like the sounds of walking around, you know, like the the robotic motorized sounds and stuff. It's kind of cool. Anyway, so here's the Mark VI, 15,000 retail price, the only price. And um, with this suit, this suit features a lot of brand new things. Um, Tony really went out on this one. Uh, the Mark VI, first of all, features color changing HUD. It's red when there are zombies in the area, and if there aren't any, it turns blue. So you can see they're kind of far off. So it'll stay blue until I get a little closer, and it'll turn red to let me know that there are enemies in the area. I see new icons on screen for tracking. Um, you get the same repulsor here, like that. Um, the brand new wrist rocket technology, which is full auto. Uh, you can shoot, I believe, 15 of these rockets. So it's like... So it gets a little crazy. Um, that one, you can kind of leg your friends out if you want to, if they don't have a graphics card at all, like me thinking integrated graphics but you know this this computer I'm playing on right now actually is wearing out it's having issues connecting to the internet so I'm probably gonna be getting an Alienware fairly soon here so I'm, I'm pretty excited about that honestly finally get a decent uh, graphical processing media. um but anyway, oh hey for those of you guys wondering what this power-up does when you pick it up if you're in an Iron Man suit at any time while this power-up is active you have infinite power so my power levels we are at 99% and they're not going down no matter how much I shoot or run around. So you don't have unlimited power, obviously. Or, I mean, unlimited ammo, but you have unlimited power. So as long as that power-up is active, I have unlimited power. But once it's done, it'll reset my power levels back to what they were before. So you'll see as soon as it goes away here. There, now it's back down to where I was before. And the Mark VI features the ability to regenerate power on its own. Um, you'll notice if I don't fire weapons or anything, the power levels actually move up. It was at 74, then now it's 75, 76. So you don't even have to put this one back on the charger if you're patient and wait for it to recharge. Um, so that's uh, a kind of a nice feature here. Um, I believe that's it with the Mark VI. Uh, let me just show you the third person view of the suit. Right there, that's the player model. So this is what your uh, fellow teammates will see as you're running around in the suit. So there's that. There we go. Alright. Now let's go put the Mark VI back and we'll go put on War Machine. Yeah, these armors right here are just for decoration. Okay, they are not anything. They are not uh, playable. The Iron Patriot or the Mark 39 Heartbreaker. Or no, not Mark 39. I can't remember what Heartbreaker is. But anyway, that's Heartbreaker. You uh, can't use him. <laughs> Alright, over to the War Machine, which is purchasable for 10000 by the way, you can purchase these armors in any order you want, it doesn't matter. So we can uh, put on the War Machine suit, and you get a very nice mini gun here. Um, new uh, targeting, like HUD icon targeting there. As you can see, new um, HUD icons, it actually says zombie on it, which is kind of interesting. Um, in case you're wondering, over there at the Hall of Armors, there was the Mark 1, and then it jumps right to the Mark 3. If uh, you follow the trivia game, 
and you know the Iron Man story, you know that War Machine is actually the Iron Man Mark II and was changed into War Machine after Rhodey took it in Iron Man 2 and Hammer Industries pimped this thing out, you know. I'm not going to talk about the whole storyline, but, you know, you got your stat tracking up in the upper left hand, you got your power levels. This suit does not allow you to sprint. This is a tank suit, basically, alright? It's heavily armored. This suit gives you a 290% increase in health, I believe, so you can take about 6 hits, I think, with this suit. 6 or 7, something like that, similar to the Mark 1. Um, you have this iron, this uh, war machine minigun up in the upper right hand corner, which is 100% accurate on that reticle that you see on the screen that's changing colors when I aim at zombies. This gun is 100% accurate. The only thing that makes it different is the recoil, but it will hit right in the center of that target. You also get the war machine handgun, which is basically just like a machine gun built into his wrist, which is kind of cool. So it's a good backup weapon to have if you're out of ammo. And of course you get the wrist rocket technology, so the um, war machine features all of that. Uh, you have flying, which takes 10%. Um, it's more of a flight boost, so none of them have flight or anything. <laughs> that makes zombies a little easy. Uh, but anyway, so that is the war machine armor. And so I'm going to go take it off here. Again, you can't sprint in it. And also, I should mention that the war machine armor will lose power over time, even if you're not doing anything, just like the Mark I but none of the other suits will. And that one, of course, doesn't recharge at all. It's uh, simply a tank armor. Anyway, so once you've purchased all the suits, the Mark 16 uh, place, I don't know what, what to call it, secret area unlocks, and you can go up and push F and open up the door to view the Mark 16. Now that armor right there is the Mark 16 nightclub. It's a special armor on this map that can only be used by the people who help make um, the Iron Man suits. And those people are right there, off the wall, red space, stuffed oatmeal. Those guys um, help me. Um, off the wall rigged uh, player models and view hands, and he also um, did uh, the targeting system uh, script, like the little thing that puts the icons on there. It's actually his modified uh, Vulturade script, basically. Um, red space um, help with the flight boost and the melee system. Oh, I forgot to show you the melee system. I'll have to show you that on the Mark 16. Um, so he helped with that, uh, and Stuffed Oatmeal um, helped me learn how to get these kind of models into the map. Um, just getting models into the map and actually having them work. So a special thanks to him for that. And he also helped with the Mark uh, 5 suitcase view model, which isn't here at the moment. Um, so anyway, uh, if anybody except these developers or myself tries to put on a suit, it says it's not authorized for them. And I'm sure you've seen that in various gameplays uh, yourself. Um, so if I try to put it on, of course I can. Um, I, also, I and all the developers also have the ability to use this console over here to authorize the Mark 16 nightclub armor for everybody in our game. So if I did that right now, which I'm not going to, because I can just put on a suit right now. Right? So even if I don't authorize it, I can still put it on, no problem. See? So it's going to let me put on the suit. So here is the Mark 16. So the HUD itself is similar to the Mark III, it's a little bit more glowy, and I think it kind of looks a lot better, personally. But if you get up close to the zombie, you know, it turns red and everything, just like the other one. It uh, targets them. Um, you'll notice the power levels will regenerate by themselves, just like the Mark VI. They regenerate a bit faster in this model. So you have this repulsor, you have your flight. Which only the, the flight only takes about six percent or seven or eight or something like that. It's a low amount for this armor, which is nice because you'll see as they upgrade, as the armors get better, you'll save on power. You switch weapons, you have the Mark 16 stealth mode, and this is how you can access stealth mode. So here I'm going to access it, and you'll see what happens. So now, I'm completely invisible to the zombie. He's not going to be able to come after me. And he's just, and all the zombies on the map are just kind of going to go after the next player, or they're going to just kind of walk around and not be able to do anything. As you can see, I can switch back to my repulsor. My view hands are kind of invisible. My vision's a bit different. My HUD changed colors. And I have my little stealth mode icon up there letting me know that I am in stealth mode, if you didn't already catch that from the invisible view hands. And if I switch to third person... You'll see that my character model is also invisible, or somewhat invisible, which is kind of cool, like kind of a holographic type thing here. There we go. So now if I turn off stealth mode, like so, 
then the zombie will, will be able to come after me. Oh, or he can die. That works too. <laughs> I was, I've actually been leading him around for quite a while now, so. But if I go back to third person, you'll notice that my player model is back to normal. Again. So when you're not in stealth mode, it looks like that. Third person is zero. All right, guys, so I'm back, and I completely forgot to show you that the melee system here. Um, so if you're in one Iron Man suit, and you go and you melee a zombie, he just goes flying across the room. It's so much fun to do this. <laughs> it's a, sometimes, though, here, the one thing you do have to do is you have to make sure that your number of corpses isn't incredibly high because the game can only process so many dead bodies and flying through the air apparently uses a lot of resources so you're going to want to turn those down if you're going to be doing this on higher rounds but you can punch the zombies and they'll just go flying it's kind of fun so you can see they just go flying and if you hit like say three or four like right next to each other then it'll send all three of them flying so let's see if i can get these get these three rounded up here let's get some of these guys so you can see I sent two of them flying there. So you can get these two guys together. Hey guys! And they just go flying. So that's a, a really fun thing to do. And if you guys didn't notice, the melee system does take 1% of power every time you punch. So you'll see that my power levels go down every time I punch. And that's just because otherwise it'd be a little bit overpowered if you could just use it all the time. Since it is pretty much an insta-kill all the time to kill those guys even up on high rounds. Uh, so anyway, guys, this has been the Iron Man Project. I hope this helps you um, if you're planning to play the map again or if you just kind of didn't didn't understand how the whole thing worked. Um, uh, these Iron Man suits have been so much fun, and I've really gotten to know guy, the Off the Wall and Red Space and those guys um, for when they're helping out uh, with this project. So big credit to them. Make sure that you guys check out the uh, computer screens over here, credits, and you have the, the detailed explanations of Old oh, Crud detailed explanations of all the armors there which is really cool um to to get exactly all the statistics about all the armors and how they differ from each other and things so that, those computer screens aren't just for decoration okay they are really really there to uh, uh provide a lot of good information as well as track all the power levels of the different suits which is cool as you can see i'm at 92 percent and the mark six power thing there is tracking accurately and you'll see it go down here as I continue to use some of these power... I'm trying to get my clear path here so I don't get trapped. You can see here the mark that thing is tracking my power levels now, so it's uh, uh, pretty cool. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this map, and I hope you continue to enjoy it uh, in the days to come, and that uh, I'll be able to provide you with another great map. Um, but I'm not going to explain that in case some of you guys haven't gotten to the end of this map yet. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you on my next video. This is ZK, signing off.